Backed. I demand that you free Mongolia. Costs me 50 dip, but I'd rather see Mongolia alive and thriving. MLG Laser says, I come home from school and see Jake streaming. Thank you, Jake, anytime. In fact, no, I don't want to make Mongolia my vassal. I just want them to be free. Shagatai, your ruler is 48. Your prestige is low. You know what? I think I don't even need to release Mongolia. We'll just break off any friends that you have, or... Better yet, make you concede defeats that you lose uh, prestige. Let's get our troops out of there. We're going to sort them out later. That's all we need. Free diplomat, we say to Oyo, hey Oyo, bestest buddy, you have defeated us soundly, Ming is no longer our so-called vassal. Costs us 50 dip for whatever reason, I think that's fixed in the next patch. Austria have the most aggressive expansion towards us, I believe, at 100, uh, 273. Don't think anyone can top that. Tuscany with a respectable 206. Oh, they still kept 22 of it. Wow, okay. They may remain in the coalition then, but everybody else is going to drop out. Goodbye, coalition. Golden era for culture. Just drowning in good events. So now I need to think about integrating our friends. That said, do I even have any vassals that I want to integrate right now? Alsace, Foix, Bohemia, Saxe, Lauenburg, Milan, Brabant. Really, it's just Brabant, and that's after I sell them that. We'll just have to sit on it for a while. Jake, you have troops left in Beijing. Thank you kindly. We'll get you moved over there. I also have this little number that I need to take care of. Coalition has only Great Britain, Austria, and Spain. Those other two should fall out quite quickly. Although I don't think nations who are at war leave coalitions. Which is a crying shame, because I want them out of that coalition pretty badly. Jake, I always hear you say Sexy Lomberg. Yep, that's what my housemate calls them. I think it's a pretty good name for them, since they are a very loyal vassal. <sighs> Can you just break Protectorate without war to get exploit? No, you need to lose it in a war. Okay, so what now? Who do we fight? Where and why? I really want to prioritise taking a big bite out of Great Britain. And I think we're going to start putting our focus on admin so we can core lots of land. I know it's quite expensive to take it so ahead of time, but I want that administrative efficiency. I want it bad, so we're taking it. I think we still have to wait to convert Shitatsu's holiday home, so we'll get some more trade efficiency whilst we're at it as well. And we get another idea group, but I don't know what I want. Probably something military, since we have a glut of military points, and very little to spend it on. But on the other hand, the next tech is a big one. 26 is a very big one. So I don't know. Maybe quantity to really push forward the infantry combat ability, but... To be honest, we already win the battles. Um, more religious, more religious strength would be something. Maybe, just maybe, diplomatic ideas. In fact, come to think of the things that I want to do, 
diplomatic's probably the best idea. Is there any religious uh, strength? There is religious strength from you. Policy of calculated delay. I'll probably go diplomatic, but it's something to think about first. Go for naval. <laughs> yep, go for naval. I can't cancel the mills, the uh, the policy just yet. One more year and a bit to go. Hmm. Again, foreign support for rebels. You would think having espionage would stop me from having that. I have foreign support for rebels for in all of uh, Lithuania and in these two provinces and over here. But who is supporting them? Oh, I don't understand. Jake, take aristocratic. No thanks. I think I'm going to want diplomatic. Hmm. Jelra, you are Holy Roman Emperor. You are allied with Austria. Is anyone ally? <laughs> Austria did not ally. The trouble is, if Jelra becomes a war leader, they'll call in Austria. Austria, who are still in the coalition against me. And they're going to remain there for approximately three more years. Hmm. Oh, thanks for the save file, Bane. I will have a look at that once I've finished this run. Can't have you not realising your ambition, can we? And there we go, just like that. Mongolia are free from their Chagatai overlords. I really want to dig into France. Ah, you have a core on... Tuscany. Allied to Aragon, Naples and Flanders. None of these people are threats, and Flanders is somebody that I want dead anyway. Jelra would protect them, then they would probably become war leader. And then they would call in Austria. Austria... Austria wouldn't become war leader though, because they are inside the HRE. I don't think an HRE member can take over from the Emperor as war leader. So that wouldn't call in the coalition. I do have these claims. Gee, Crane is high base tax. I don't really want that. I was hoping you would have more low base tax crappy land for me to get. So if I wholly ward you, could probably do a few more men on our side, but we are Swedes. Maybe if I throw in this amazing technology on top of everything. It's all about the offensive fire. Fire phase comes first, never forget that. That's what we'll do then. We'll fight Tuscany. We'll get Tuscany to give Romagna back to Milan. Not much else I worry. I really care about when it comes to Tuscany. Don't want their land. Naples I also don't care that much about. Aragon also don't care. Besides, they'll be easy pickings. Flanders, I really want to get involved. Uh, no, that's Brabant. That is Flanders. However, if Flanders joined... No, Flanders couldn't become war leader. Not over Tuscany. Okay, that's not... Nothing to worry about. Come, Jake. Are you man or are you mouse? Just do it.
and we'll lay the hurt down on Austria, no problem. That said, I don't have many people to lay the hurt down with. Might benefit from recruiting a bit more, it's not like we're hurting for money at the moment. Kiel Canal. 20,000 wasted ducats. Go away. Hmm. Jake, take Urbino to connect up Rome. Ah, you mean Anaconda. Increased coring cost because of Italian aristocracy. Thanks, game. No, I don't need it connected up. Maybe I should just fight with limited troops. My this is very limited, only 120,000. Austria alone could probably smash us there. But I do have plans for this, good plans at that. Hmm, you, your national ideas. Somebody remind me, do Jelra take religious ideas ever? Because that's very important if they do or do not. Jake, where's the Kiel Canal? The Kiel Canal runs, I believe, along Holstein. Yeah, this could work out for me very well. If I can just deal with Brabant. Alright, nobody's answering, so I'll double check myself. Do they take religious ideas? Common EU4 history countries. No, that's the wrong one. It's common. Common. <laughs> Countries. Jelra. They never take it, that's good. <laughs> this plan of mine might yet come together. I'll admit it was a little shaky at some point, but okay. Once the morale is back up to maximum, we'll lay the hurt down on them. They don't take religious. Thank you. Utrecht is a, the a theocracy. That's... Well, Jelra is a kingdom and that's what I need them to be, now and forever. Also, thank God I didn't go uh, Republic, like we earlier assumed I might. Okay, Holy War on Tuscany. I'm going to be trusting you, G Gustav. We're not going to put our troops in position, because, hey, let's enjoy the challenge. Although perhaps... No, hold on, this is foolish. Why would I keep you guys down here? I know I'm keeping too many troops over in GB, but there's no reason to make these troops stay over there when they could be joining in the fray. <coughs> Jake gives Twitch 10 seconds to answer a 20-minute delay. Okay, here's the thing. If you're a Twitch partner, it gives you this stream delay slider where you can just delay your stream up to 20 minutes. I cannot think of a reason why you would ever want that, but uh, clearly I'm not seeing the bigger picture here. Liberal backlash. <laughs> you know what? Where's the. Uh, where is that? Woods. Okay, I was going to take the stability hit, but why not? Let's just show these revolutionaries what we can do. Revolutionaries, they want to make me into a constitutional republic? In any other run, I would jump at that. In fact, could I just give in to their demands? They will never negotiate. What a waste. They would have to occupy half my country. From all the way over there. Hmm. No, you can do there for now. And just to remind myself, your allies include Austria, but I highly doubt Austria will become war leader. Alright, let's just do this. We'll see what happens. If it all blows up in my face and I end up in a coalition war, of which I die from... Then it's just another bit of fun, isn't it? Okay, so you were low morale. You didn't fully pay yourself up. Wow, very low morale. Well, let's watch these guys go goodbye. Okay, Austria became war leader. 
over the Holy Roman Emperor. Hello, Coalition. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Okay. I continue to not understand what's happening here. Also, um, part of my cunning plan worked because I separated heirs from Austria before they could core it. Austria was forced to sell it to Bohemia. They couldn't core it because they didn't have coring range. And they, the AI will sell provinces like that to non-rival countries just to get rid of the province. Otherwise they'll die from overextension. So they sold it to Bohemia. So that's one last province that I have to conquer myself. Alright, so this is interesting. I have a lot of land to just return from you, Austria. This probably won't be a highly aggressive expansion of war for me. Although here's hoping that that coalition doesn't get involved. I just don't understand the whole call to arms thing anymore. Is Spain going to get involved? Portugal? The Pope? Flanders? You know, I want Flanders to be involved. Well, let's just roll with it. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm Bubba Duke. Okay, Naples are involved, and they're running to Shitatsu Show's Holiday Rome. They'll be there on the 2nd of May. They'll probably beat me to it. I have nothing to defend my cogs. They're going to be out in the open. Oh, it's also... Uh, there are also too many of them. Oh, well. Shitatsu Show's Holiday Rome will never fall. I know that much. Good for Bohemia to siege their core back. I want Bohemia to take all their cores and then I will integrate them because really they're just a thorn in my side right about now. So I think I'll even help them out with that. And we shall take Jeldrat as well. Right, so Spain got involved. Rest in pieces, foi. Truly rest in wrecked. Jake, have you played Vicky 2? Only for like 20 seconds. I wasn't overly taken with it at a glance. Whereas EU3, I took one look at it and went, yes, this is the game for me. So first impressions are worth a lot. Hmm. Okay, this could be interesting, but I doubt you're going to give access to Spain. Hmm, okay, let's hold out and Shitatsu shows Holiday Rome. I'm not going to fight this fight uh, like everything's on the line. Life's too short. However, it does tie up quite a few foes. Since GB is allied with Austria, it means I can now fight GB without having to worry. But I do need them to end their war with Hindustan. Also, now that Spain is involved... Oh no, Spain's just in the coalition. Ah, but... That means I can fight GB without worrying about the coalition since the only other members, Austria and Spain, are already at war with me. Ireland would become involved, but I also want Ireland. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Ireland have nothing overseas. I'm not sure if I want to annex and release, or just vassalize Ireland. Probably be a lot of overextension to deal with them. Okay, so there's a lot of war and a lot of fronts. Probably going to be a difficult war for me. I mean, uh, methodically. Okay, well first things first, we'll infiltrate your administrate. We'll get to know where about you are. We'll probably do the same to Austria. He might ambush my troops here. And we will declare war on Great Britain. Oh, that looks like Flanders got involved. Months later. Hmm. I could
could make them into my vassal's vassal, that would be quite funny, but that's not really what we're going for, is it? Still, I'm really surprised Austria took over as war leader from the Emperor. I never thought that was possible. But that's how you learn more about the game. Just jump in balls first. If I'd played it too, uh, too gingerly and just waited for the coalition to go, I never would have found this out. Alright, Spain won't get involved, Tuscany won't get involved, Austria and Flanders won't get involved. It'll just be you, Ireland, and probably Iroquois, who we don't care about. Just as planned. I'll carpet the north whilst the main stack goes down south. This is mostly to prevent him from uh, having areas that he can flee to. Hi, AV3 double I, and welcome to the stream. Flash news all German miners have 10% attrition for cyanide poisoning. These funny guys. These Christian influences are insane. Okay, Great Britain is too scared to move. Who can really blame them? I was looking at uh, the wrong thing, thinking these are too small, these are only 1,000 stacks. I wasn't even looking at the right box. What kind of scrub have I become at this game? There we have it. That should be death to GB, but Ireland are still involved. Not to mention, the enemy still has that tonking big navy. So we should have these f ships join up, I rather think. And I need to make an incursion into Ireland. What? Ireland didn't get involved? Jesus. This is what I hate, you know? They're allied to Ireland. I fight them thinking Ireland will get involved. Ireland just goes, nah, I'm not getting involved. But the alliance remains. Why? Not often I have a moan about the things in the game, but that uh, really grinds my gears. Really grinds my gears. Well, let's just make the most of it then. Ireland, prepare to have your infiltrated administrated. Pathetic army. Right, I'm just going to take you over in a conquest then. We'll get all of our ships together. Not going to give them uh, an admiral. Jake played Euro Truck Simulator earlier and spilled 41% of his 24,000 litre load of cyanide. That's pretty much a good way to put it. Oh my. Oh jeez, I came here without a general, didn't I? What's the fastest we can get a troop there? Eight days. Hold strong, my men. Oh, okay, well, we're getting a 6-5 general anyway. Hold strong. Be gone, Habsburg. You are the worst foe, German. Cornwall have fort level of 2, so we need only drop 2,000 men. The rest of you, get on with Ireland. Jake's load broke Germany. 
How lewd. Hmm? Didn't I? I didn't declare war on you yet. Oh, what luck! I get a chance to sink their navy before we even land. It's all going on now. And with this level of uh, administrative efficiency at base tax before I'm over, uh, before I hit 100% overextension. But again, I hope to take it out in bite sized chunks. For example, I want the GB war to end fairly soon so I can get the cores up and running. They are already my, um, my claims, so it'll take less time than usual. What do I want from Austria, though? The thing is, I don't care about Spain. Spain are probably not open for peace talks. Yes, yeah, separate coalition member can't sign a peace. That's actually probably going to hurt me quite badly. Because that means they're in this for good. But they don't have access through France, so the worst they can do, and although it is pretty bad, they can Shrek, my good friend. Foi. Who's <laughs> desperately trying to build a tenatile. Ah. Uh, fight the good fight. You have defensive ideas anyway. Still, that means we only really have to worry about Austria here. So we'll stick our troops on Wien. Jelra, permanent emperor. Good on you. Still, I have rebels to dispose of. Bah. DDR 60k black flag, yeah, I know. Hmm, that isn't ideal. Your fort levels here are pathetic, man. Well, you are Ireland. God damn Irish. Promise this will be quick. So we're looking at 10, 16, 22. So 44 over extension for holding on to Ireland. So let's hope the Irish War is one of the last ones we conclude. It probably won't be. This Austrian one's going to drag on. But I need to make sure I get what I want out of it. I want this province. Actually, I can fa I can annex you. Whoa, that's good. Okay, well, so I want to annex Flanders. I don't actually want anything out of Naples. Tuscany, I want you to return one core. But if I split my troops up, Austria might just come and wreck my day. Still, risky business is my business. Oh, extremely high fort defense. Still, with a bit of luck, Austria have other things to worry about. And I have this also save book to worry about. No, oh, oh, jeez. Yorkshire down. Remember, I want GB's war over with first. Is this going to be an all nitrogen? jig? It's going to go on for a long time. So don't you worry, girly. What do I do then? Do I... I mean, I've got all these ships, it would be a waste not to put them to good use. Alright, I'll try and an annihilate fleets as I find them. Somebody asks, what idea groups did I choose? Espionage, quantity, religious, expansion, offensive trade, in that order. Still trying to decide on my last idea, but it will most likely be diplomatic. Thank you, Brabant. You tied them up just as I needed you to giving us a free light ship. I don't know what to do with that. Now, I really want to hunt out and destroy the other ships. Jake, why do you take espionage?